Mike Culpepper, the Burleson Handyman. We're uh, going to make a mantle today for a fireplace, and we're using this uh, knotty alder. It's beautiful wood. You can see the see all the knots, and we're going to take and cut out our design and then, uh, beat it with a chain and drag it out through the gravel and drill some holes, and make it look like it's 100 years old. But uh, just wanted to show you how we did it. And uh, if you need help with your fireplace or uh, mantle or chimney up on the roof, we do all that kind of stuff. Mike Culpepper, Burleson Handyman, 817-229-1853. Well, I've got my measurements all laid out on the floor. I transferred them from measuring over at the house to the floor. Then we added a little bit of a space for the scratch coat and an inch and a half for the rock. And then once I got those measurements on the floor, then I could add the top of my uh, mantle and then I can figure out where my return comes back and it doesn't bump into the concrete board that's already installed. So we're fixing to rip this piece of plywood and Go from there. We've got our plywood ripped and cut, cross cut and ripped to the size we want for the top of the mantle. Now we are sizing all of these. They're rough cut one by fours, but some of them are four and a half, five. We're going to end up being just a little shy of four, but all of them will be the same size. Okay, this mantle is so wide that we're, we're putting all this together with this pocket hole, the Craig pocket hole kit. But to get it to stand up here, you know, usually you're working with something that's just a couple of small pieces so it works great in that clamp. But right now, this is so wide because the top of that mantle is that wide. So we got to be able to put it in this little Craig jig. So we built some spacers that hold this straight. And then we're just sliding down every six inches. And once we get all those done, then we'll screw it into the one before. We're down to plugging our holes. We got these little wooden plugs. See, so you just go in there with a little dab of glue. And once you get them in there, then sand them off. And then these are paint grade stuff, but I think they'll stain okay. This is the bottom side. This is the wrap around. Next thing I'm going to do is get the router out and router this edge while I got it upside down. Okay, so we've taken a, a hammer and a chain, a drill and a grinder, and screws and pliers. Everything we could think of to beat this up and make it look like it's a hundred years old. Now it's time to put the stain on. We're doing a, uh, I think it's a dark walnut. You can see right down through here, look, get you a close up of this. See how all the grooves are here. It just looks like it's 
100 years old. You get this on and get a couple coats of this stain on here and wipe it off. Okay, we've got our final coat of stain on here. And I'm wiping it down now. And it looks like it's a hundred years old. It looks like a big, big solid piece of beam. Come all the way down in here. Get all these grooves and notches. You take the, the grinder with a wire wheel and the grinder with a cutting wheel. Felt sander. Okay. Showed you how to do it. If you don't want to do it, give us a call. Burleson Handyman, 817-229-1853. We can't wait to come and work for you.